Hello everyone. So this uh, topic will discuss about synthesis design flow. So previously we have discussed about very long HDL synthesis, and uh, we have taken few examples like for loop, if then else, then uh, the flip flop, and adders and functions. Also we discussed. In this topic we discussed about Okay, synthesis design flow, the detailed design flow and verification of gate level net list. We'll see. So this is the uh, synthesis design flow from RTL to gates. So uh, you have to having knowledge of this one. Uh, you have already studied this one in first module. There you have a uh, entire VLSI design flow as well as we have discussed about very long design flow also. So same thing there is a uh, this is the part of that design flow. Okay. So here in RTL description in first chapter you have studied typical design flow of VLSI is uh, similar to that one only. Yes, a few modifications are there. So, logical synthesis, gate level, net list. Okay, so you have some uh, steps like uh, digital CAD tools. So, here RTL description. So, we will start with RTL description. So, it will describe the design at high level by using RTL constraint. So here the RTL constraints are given here. Whatever the constraint desires one they can okay fix in RTL description. Then the RTL description function whether it functions correctly or not we can verify. After the functionality is verified the RTL description is input to the logic synthesis tool. After that see RTL description okay given to input to the synthesis tool. This is the dotted lines that were represented it is a synthesis okay tool we are using. So here it will do translation first okay RTL description is converted into logic synthesis tool into a unoptimized intermediate internal representation. This process is called translation. Translation is a relatively simple and user's technique similar to those discussed in previous topics like interpretation of few law constraint. The translator understands the basic primitives and operation of Verilog RTL description. Design constraints such as area, timing and power are not considered in the translation process. At this point logic synthesis tool are does a simple allocation of internal resources. After translation see optimized unoptimized intermediate representation dog Okay, here uh, we'll get like uh, the translation process will be an optimized intermediate representation of the design. The design is represented internally by logic synthesis tool in terms of internal data structure. The uh, unoptimized intermediate representation is incomprehensible to the user. After that, it will go to logic. Optimization here, this flow. Okay, the logic is now optimized to remove the redundant logic. Various technology independent Boolean logic optimization techniques are used. This process is called logic optimization. It is very important step in logic synthesis. 
and it yields optimized internal representation of the design. Then after that logic optimization, we will go to technology mapping and optimization. The technology mapping and optimization, no till your design is okay, independent of specific target technology, at this point you have to add okay, library available implementation representing okay using cells provided by technology library design is mapped to design target library technology so for example so it's given suppose you want to get your ic chip fabricated at abc incorporation then abc has 0.65 micron cmos technology which is called abc 100 technology then abc 100 becomes target technology you must Therefore, implement your internal design representation in gears using cell provided by ABC 100 technology library. This is called technology mapping. Also, implementation should be satisfied such that design constraint as timing area and power. Some local optimization are done to achieve the best result of the target technology. This is called technology optimization or technology independent optimization. So, here you have a technology libraries are there, like this technology libraries, we have to see it all, this one, the technology library contains library cells provided by ABC incorporation, the term standard cell library used earlier in the chapter. To build technology library, ABC decided to change of functionality provided in the library cell as discussed in previous slides. Okay. So, it is having lot of things, adders, ALU marks, then uh, flip flops. These are the okay, having some specific uh, length, width, all these things and physical uh, okay, properties. And uh, you have to start with your processing, like layout, okay, library cells. Then modeling the technology are used to estimate the timing power characters such as library cells. And the process is called cell characterization. Finally, each cell is described in a format that understood the synthesis tool. This tool is description of contain about the following the functionality of the cell, functionality of the cell, area of the cell layout, timing information about cell, power information of the cell. All these are collected and uh, stored in technology library. Tech library. And next thing is design constraint. Here design constraints are typically having timing, area and power. The timing, the circuit might weather cert certain timing requirement, the area, the area is final layout must not exceed that limit, then the power dissipation of the circuit must not be threshold given and uh, in this graph it is given area versus timing, okay, T, see here. speed versus timing trade-off trade -off. the on the top of the design constraint operational environmental factor also comes into picture such as input and output delay or dry strength or load will affect optimization of the target name. Rating of environment factor must be input to the logic synthesis tool ensure that circuit is optimized and require operational environment. And now optimize gate level description after technology mapping is complete the optimized gate level at least described in terms of the target technology component product produced whether it is meet with our requirement. Okay, there are some of the three points note to the 
about the synthesis. So, first one is very important for every high very high speed circuit like microprocessor vendor technology libraries may not give it non optimal result instead of designer group obtain information about fabrication process used by the vendor for example 0.65 micron cmos process and build their own technology library component cell characterization is done by the designer discussion about building technology libraries and cell characterization is beyond the scope of this topic second one translation of logic optimization and technology mapping are done internally in the logic synthesis tool and are not visible to the designer in third one the submicron designer the interconnection delays are becoming the dominant factors in the overall delay therefore the geometric string in order to accurately model the interconnect delays this is the one of the example for rtl2 gate synthesis so here we have given four bit magnitude compared comparator to, and uh, we have given some constraint here the design specifications are given a magnitude comparator check if one number is greater equal or less than any no other number design a four bit magnitude comparator ic chip that has a following specification the name of the design is magnitude comparator inputs are a and b are four bit no x and z values are appear on a and b input output is a greater than b is true when a is greater than b output a less than b true if a is less than b output a equal b is true if a is equal to b the magnitude comparator circuit must be fast as possible area can be compromised for speed and uh, this is a program optimized code for okay magnitude comparator it's written in rtl okay register transfer level so here directly so they have given magnitude comparator as a model name and inputs and outputs are given like this and uh, a greater than b a less than b a equal b so this is a rtl description next uh, when you are going for technology library will get like this so inside uh, you are uh, okay synthesis tool so you will get around 0 0.56 0 0.65 micron cmos process and uh, it's having like this v and v v and p and v nor v or p nor b v buffer n d flip top that is negative edge p d flip top positive edge this cells are available okay in your abc android technology in uh, design constraints are the you have to optimize the final circuit for faster timing and this is a circuit diagram for gate level schematic for magnitude comparator so like this mm, and uh, you have to optimize logic okay synthesis for abc 100 technology and then this is a final optimized circuit and uh, this is a magnitude comparator this is the outputs and the inputs are here like this and this is a circuit and the gate level description for magnitude comparator technology is given like this see here module magnitude comparator all gate level description 
so here v and v we are using whatever gears we are using we have applied the same gears are we are using here what whatever circuit we are using previously same circuits we are using here and uh, we have mentioned okay wires uh, like 60 to 39 we are using that 60 to 39 wires here this is a gate level description this is the important thing and uh, verification of gate level at least after constructing means getting the gate level description so you have to verify the functionality of your design it is called functional verification optimized gate level netlist produced by gate logic synthesis tool must be verified for the functionality also the synthesis tool may not always able to meet the both timing and area requirement if they are too stringent the separate timing verification can be done in gate level netlist so here functional verification one of the example they are given okay for magnitude comparator okay this is uh, like uh, mm, set of matrix they are given optimized matrix so like a b values are given so in a test bench like this values they are given okay and uh, you have to get output like this so this is a output so you uh, have mentioned rise time fall time rise time fall time then minimum typical and maximum delay also we have mentioned here so here the input and output delay we have mentioned and instrumentation okay and gate and uh, here another thing is stimulus applied for the hotel description and gate description so here we are forcing the technology abc hundred dot p okay and we are forcing and we are getting output like this okay so this is the end of this module and uh, thank you for listening